Understanding Voter Fraud, A Simple Guide. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a very topical and important phrase, voter fraud. This phrase is often seen in news and political discussions, especially around election times. Understanding this term is not just about language learning, but also about getting more insight into the political and social discussions in English-speaking countries. Let's dive in. Voter fraud is a compound noun made up of two words, voter and fraud. To understand the phrase, we'll look at each word separately. Voter. This is a noun that refers to someone who votes or has the right to vote, typically in a political election. Fraud. This noun refers to the act of deceiving or cheating for personal or financial gain. When combined, voter fraud refers to illegal interference in the process of voting. It's important to note that this phrase is often charged with political significance. Understanding voter fraud is easier with examples. Here are some common forms it can take. Impersonation. Voting under someone else's name. Ballot tampering. Altering or destroying ballots to change the election outcome. Duplicate voting. Voting more than once in the same election. False registration. Registering to vote using fake information. These actions are considered illegal because they undermine the fairness and integrity of the electoral process. In political discussions, voter fraud can be a contentious topic. Here's why. Political tool. Sometimes, it's used by political parties to question the legitimacy of an election. Rare but serious. Actual cases of voter fraud are rare but they can have serious implications for democracy. Legislation and debate. Discussions about voter fraud often lead to new voting laws or regulations and can spark public debate about election security. We hope this video has helped you understand the meaning and context of voter fraud. Remember, language learning is not just about words, but also about the ideas and cultures they represent. Stay curious and keep learning. See you in our next video.